prepared to prance. <laughs> Inside every boy, a lordly lion prepared to prance. Mr. Weasley. Yes. Will you join me, please? Oh, yeah, make Ron dance. Yes. Place your right hand on my waist. Waist. <laughs> not too low, not too low, Ron. Never gonna let me forget this, are you? Nope. Oh, Neville's feeling himself. Ooh. He's even got the shoes on, bro. He's ready for this dance. I feel like Neville's gonna go insane. Cause like that curse freaked him out a lot. And then he was kind of staring a little bit later. Like he was just like zoning out and Hermione's like, you okay? A little bit later on, you know? And so now he's like dancing by himself. I don't know. I feel that's normal to dance by yourself. But like since the curse thing happened, I feel like he's gonna go insane. Didn't know it very well. She left him. I was about three. <gasps> What if he's the one under the curse and he put the name, Harry's name in the Goblet of Fire under Voldemort's curse? Hmm, no, most likely not, but. Ooh, Hagrid's arisen her. And then he died. <gasps> oh, Hagrid, she went to go kiss you, dog. The only ones I give you without dates. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love Snape. No. Dude, Snape's right there. Oh, okay. That was easy. Hermione. No. Oh, girl. No. Spotted. Come with one of us. Oh my god. It's low key child abuse, but. Come. It's one thing for a bloke to show up alone. For a girl, it's just sad. I won't be going alone because, believe it or not, someone's asked me. Ooh. Ooh. And I said yes. Ooh. If you say so. Well, Ron, I mean, the, well, Ron, when you disrespect her so fucking hard all the time, of course she's not going to go with you. You give her the most backhanded compliments. Oh, like, oh my God. You say the most condescending shit to her, dude. Of course she's not going to go with you. She'd probably go with Harry because Harry's actually nice. And she. I feel like she likes Harry. I mean, she likes Ron, obviously, but like as a friend, strictly friends. Harry, I feel like she actually has feelings for. <gasps> Oop, oh, and Harry's gonna go with this girl. Harry, go ask her. Cho, I just wanted if you, I just wanted maybe you want to go to the ball with me. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't oh. catch that. Oh, say it again, but with your chest. Harry, I'm... Oh, no. Sorry, but someone's already asked me. Okay, well, cancel on them and go with me. I literally... I'm literally the champion. Damn. It's okay, Ron. It's all right. Oh, the fuck? I just asked Fleur de Lacour out. What? Bro. What did she say? She couldn't have curved them that bad. No. She said she... yes. Just all slipped out. Mm-hmm. That's what she said. It was a bit frightening. <laughs> Hey. No, oh, he's gonna ask them. One of them. Bro, pull Bruce Wayne show up with two girls. Well, I expect yours are more traditional. Traditional? They're ancient. I look like my great aunt Tessie. Smell like my great aunt Tessie. Murder me, Harry. Yeah, I feel like Ron might be a bit overdressed. Only in her room, crying her eyes out. Who? Miney, of course. Come on, Harry. Bro, she had bro, Hermione's gonna pull up looking so good. I already know it. Wait, she's probably she's going with Crumb. That's who asked her. Cause he was he eyeballed her earlier in the movie. She's going with Crumb. No, I need you all to line up. Oh, she went with Edward. Wow. <gasps> Hermione, oh my god, she looks so good. She looks Yep, there's Crumb in the back. Yep, yep, yep. Uh. Yeah, this Loki does feel- this really feels like Hunger, Hunger Games right now. Harry, take my waist. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, I want to see Hagrid dance with that girl. I want to see them getting down. Oh, the cat and him. Oh, Hagrid, dance with her. 
Spin around like a crazy elf. Bro, look at this rager right now. Oh, they make out the boys and their dishes in the back. Watching Hermione have the time of her life. This is the moment Harry realizes he's in love with Hermione because he's je he's getting jealous. So he's realizing how much he likes her. Vic has gone to go and get drinks. Oh God. I would not care to join you and Victor. How Ron's so jealous. You're fraternizing with the enemy. The enemy? Besides, the whole point of the tournament is magical cooperation. To make friends. Mm -hmm. I think he's got a bit more than friendship on his mind. The Iran is so jealous. Are you going to ask me to dance or not? Nah. <laughs> Bro, this is sad, dude. The boys are down bad right now, dude. How dare you? Besides, I can take care of myself. Doubt it. He's oh. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. Yeah. This is a last resort. Mm-hmm. That's the sorry. I mean, that's just completely off the point. No, Ron. Never Robbie. mind. Off to bed, both of you. It's scary when they get older. Ron, you. Oh my God. Oh. oh. I feel so bad for Hermione. Oh. At least Neville is having a good time in Hagrid. Oh, oh not too low. <laughs> Bro, does Hermione have feelings for Ron and Harry? Like, is she just for the team? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Like, it seems like she actually has feelings for Harry the most. But then she got, like, she got mad. She got upset when Ron didn't ask her in time. I don't know. Oh, another vision. Ah, yes. The time is close. Mm. My boy's tatted. He's about it. He's in the gang. Oh shit. Neville. I just got in. Uh, Me. Super sus. The task is two days from now. Oh. I suppose Victor's already figured it out. Wouldn't know. We don't actually talk about the tournament. Bro, you were supposed to get inside knowledge. Victor's more of a physical being. Oh, so he's using you, okay. Just means these tasks are designed to test you. In the most brutal way, they're almost cruel. I'm scared for you. How, how are you? Look, I realize I never really thanked you properly for tipping me off about those dragons. I'm sure you would have done the same for me. Exactly. No, you wouldn't, no, no, you wouldn't have, no. It's not a bad place for a bar. Just take your egg and mull things over in the hot water. Okay. So you just told us what the egg means. Well, tell us how to go figure it out, I guess. Okay, cool. That's a bro. Damn, this is a huge bath. I'm definitely out of my mind. Oh, it's Morning Merle. Try putting it in the water if I were you. Yeah, that's what he said to do. Long time, no see. Yeah, you weren't in the last movie. I missed you. Not being a bad boy again, are you, Harry? <laughs> the other boy. Mm -hmm. The handsome one. Bro, why do I why do I feel like she's about to slurp Harry? Yeah, she probably slurped Cedric too. To recover what we do. <laughs> Bro, she wants Harry so bad. When's the last time you held your breath underwater for an hour, Hermione? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We can do this. The three of us can figure it out. Hate to break up the skull. Really, the two of us. Ron's just sleeping. Presumably, Potter is well prepared by now and could do with a good night's sleep. Go. Mm. Now! Who's growing gravity resistant trees? Neville. No offense, but I really don't care. Oh, that's so. Aww. If it will allow me to breathe underwater for an hour, then great. Yes. Neville's about to put him on. But you can always use gillyweed. Mmm. Oh, on, place place Perfect. All right, we're about to use this gillyweed. What about this, Neville? Absolutely. Yeah, you're fucking. Most likely. You better most be likely. right. Yeah. What do you mean, most likely? Fresh water versus salt water. You're but... telling me this now? Oh, yeah. I, I just wanted to help better than Ron and Hermione. Where are they anyway? You see my little tent, Harry. What? What? Why do you think? 
Oh god, this game looks intense. Last night, something was stolen from each of our champions. Hmm. A treasure of sorts, one for each champion, now lie on the bottom of the Black Lake. <sighs> each champion need only find their treasure and return to the surface. Simple enough. Put that in your... That water's probably fucking freezing. No magic will save us. <sighs> you may begin. <laughs> Harry, is it working? Oh, he has gills. Let's go. Ah, he's literally aquatic. Oh, he's literally the deep. But dude, wait. He... I don't know. I can't see him. Yeah, what's the point of spectators if you can't fucking see? I've killed Harry Potter. <laughs> oh. Yeah! Okay, I mean... I feel it. Like, I kind of feel like that's openly cheating. I don't know. I guess they're allowed to do that, but whatever. I was going to say, like, he has to wait for it to wear off before going back to the surface so no one knows he took the gillyweed, but I guess it doesn't matter. Bro, this isn't. This is a lake? Bro, why is it literally 10 miles deep? That water pressure alone would kill him. Oh, good fucking luck finding anything down here. Bro, fool's gonna get an infection with his eyes open underwater right here with all this dirty ass water. Oh my god, bro, she literally doesn't have gillyweed. She's going to drown and die. Oh, she. Oh, what the fuck is that? Okay. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, I think she's gonna die. We got mermaids? The Bad Actors Champion, Miss Jellicle, has unfortunately been forced to retire. Oh. So she will take no further part in this task. Oh, shit. <gasps> Wait, what the fuck is this? Is that Ron and Hermione? What? Oh, my God. We literally... That's why they didn't fucking show up. Oh, my God. They've been drugged and... So oh, my God. Okay, this yeah, this is what Harry has to find. Holy fuck. Wait, didn't he say no magic? Then okay, whatever. I thought Dumbledore said no magic. Yeah, and that's Cho, his date. Ooh. But he's my friend Tribble. Well, you can only take one. Yeah, uh, you can only take one of them. Yeah, only one. Fuck, that's so tough. I'm saving Hermione. Well, he already cut Ron's thing open. <gasps> oh. Oh, oh, that's a drum. Okay. Yeah, he got Hermione. Damn, and he said the other girl retired. The fourth girl, so what, is that other girl right there about to just die? Uh huh, she's like a little girl. Harry, Harry's gonna save her. Yeah, and Harry got her for her. <laughs> no! No, his thing wore off. Hmm. Yeah, get the hell off me, ho. Oh, we know his gills are still here. Oh, wait, are his gills gone? Uh, yeah, I think they look like they are. Oh, no. Yes. <gasps> oh, bad. You saved her even though she wasn't yours to save. Thank you. It's because I'm him. Determination to rescue. Not only Mr. Weasley, but the others as well. Reward him second place. This is Potter. Fine achievement. Thank you. Well done, boy. Mm. Your story is one I've heard so many times. Bro, why is he keeping such a close eye on Harry? Just like spying on him. I can't tell if he's just being overprotective or trying to like spy on him and snake him. We're not trying to lure Potter into one of the Ministry's summer internships, are we? Last boy who went into the Department of Mysteries never came out! Oh god. Stay away from Potter. Now I remember, I remember when I first met you all. Aww. Misfits I ever set eyes on. Aww. You remind you of myself a little. Now we're best friends. Four years later. Damn. Soon to be the youngest Triwizard Champion there's ever been! Don't say it just yet, Hagrid. Not yet. Don't jinx it. Oh god. 
Oh no. <gasps> no, he's dead. Mr. Crown? No, no, he's dead. Did uh, Moody kill him? <laughs> oh, Harry, do feel free to indulge in a little liquor snap in my absence, but I have to warn you, they're a wee bit sharp. Mm, yeah, that was a subtle hint. Oh, this is definitely a flashback. Look how young Dumbledore is. This be a convicted death eater. Do you? Yeah, this is the dude that Sirius warned Harry about. Mr. Rosier is dead. Dead. Yeah, he took a piece of me with him, though, didn't he? <laughs> he passed information to you know who from inside the Ministry itself. Please, please, I have more. What about Snape? Severus Snape. Oh. There's a counter. Severus Snape was indeed a death eater. And prior to Lord Voldemort's oh. downfall, turned spy for us at great personal it's risk. Oh shit! Snape came through. Painful to the dark Lord. No. What? I've heard about one more. I know for a fact this person took part in the capture, and by means of the Cruciatus curse, torture of the horror frame. Give me the wretched name, Marty Crouch. Oh. I don't know who that is. Junior. Oh. That it's obviously that fool. But okay, shit. Bro, why did he run away? That's now it's obvious he's guilty. Like, what a dumbass. You are no son of mine. Damn, that's a son. That's tough. Curiosity is not a sin, Harry, but you should <laughs> exercise caution. <laughs> you find your mind a wee bit stretched. Yeah, why don't you use that to see who put his name in the Goblet of Fire? Some small detail. Something that would explain why these terrible things have happened. I get close to an answer. It slips away. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it was the fact that Snape is a Death Eater. I feel like that. I feel like we should come back to that, guys. I feel like we shouldn't just overlook that. <laughs> like I'm not surprised. But apparently he like he spied on he spied on Voldemort for us or some shit. So he's good now. I had a dream about him in a house, and Voldemort and Wormtail was there too, and Mr. Crouch's son. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, okay, that's okay. You don't think it's actually happening, do you? Yeah. I think it's best if you simply erase them. <laughs> oh, yeah, take it out of your head. Cast them away. Damn. Nah, I don't know about that. I feel like they're important. Like they're, We're having them for a reason, you know? Don't lie. Tess, but boom slang skin. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Believe me, I'm going to find out why. Bro, Snape is such a hater, dog. So moody. He's literally Squidward. Earlier today, Professor Moody placed the Triwizard Cup deep within the maze. First person to touch the cup will be the winner. Maze. You'll find no dragons or creatures of the deep. Good. Instead, you'll face something even more challenging. People change in the maze. Oh. It's a mental test. Good luck. My boy. Oh, that was his dad? All right, Edward is dying. Edward is dying. Mm. Bro, why are you so bad at this? Mm. Yeah, this shows like Maze Runner right now. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, see why this is a mental test. I'd go, f I'd go freaking insane, being in this. Are you kidding me? Oh wait, the trees are moving, so the the maze is sh is um shifting. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Yeah, okay, this literally is Maze Runner right now. Oh god. Bro, I wish we had my boy Thomas right now. Bro, imagine if Galley pulled up right now. I'd literally scream. Oh shit. He's gonna try and snake someone. He's Crumb's gonna try and kill someone. Oh. 
Bro, Crumb looks like he already went insane. Like, his eyes are changing, but... Like, Crumb already looks possessed. Did I miss something? Oh, bro, chill! Oh, fuck. Oh, no, kill him. Oh, he's bewitched. Yes. No, Cedric! Bro, Harry's gonna go back and get him. Oh, no. No, Harry, you gotta go back and get him. You gotta go back and get him. Oh, shit, yes. Okay, Edward, you better not fuck us over here. I'm gonna be so pissed if, like, come on. Uh, for a moment there, I thought you, you were gonna let it get me. Never. Never. I mean, he kind of hesitated, but no. Nah. Go on, take it. You saved me. Take it. Oh, what a bro. One, two, three. Together, yes. Oh my God, Harry had the opportunity to just take the take it for himself, but no, he's like together. Mm. You okay? Yeah. Riddle. Mm -hmm. Oh, this. Oh, wait. This is the very beginning of the movie. Oh, that's where no, that's where Voldemort is in that building in the back. I've been here before. Yeah, in your vision. Support key. Hmm. <laughs> Tom Riddle. Oh no. We gotta go. Ah! Oh. No! Oh. Mm. Ah! <laughs> oh. What? What the? What the fuck? What? Why is Voldemort a fucking baby? <laughs> like, not. Bad. Wait, does that mean he's dead? Okay, he's not. Obviously, Voldemort's like. He's not a baby, but like, why? I'm so confused. I so many questions. Oh, bro, ew, bro. He's literally. Do he looks like Dobby. <laughs> it's Voldemort, but like Dobby's body. <laughs> Sacrificed. Ah! Of the enemy. Mm. What is this ritual, dog? Forcibly. Ah! 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 Is he giving like Voldemort like a new body or something? Oh. Oh, that's him. That's the that's the Voldemort I recognize. Mm. Hold out your arm. Watch him kill him. Kill Wormtail. The other arm, Wormtail. Take his other hand. Oh no. His Death Eaters are here. Before me, as though it were only yesterday. Bro, if Voldemort really wants Harry dead, he should just kill him right now. Stop wasting time, because, like, obviously Harry's probably gonna get away, but, like, stop, st stop giving him this fucking speech. Oh shit, wait, what? Lucius. Mm. <gasps> I have never renounced the old ways. Oh, this dickhead's a fucking death eater. That makes that makes a lot of sense. I return. Yeah, I guess I never, he's mad because he didn't come back for him. Out of fear, Out of fear not loyalty. Oh my god. Oh. New hand, nice. Oh. Ew, Such dude, don't hands. touch him with your fucking- Ew, get, get your rat foot off of him, dog. Ew. Bro, I feel like- I'd almost forgotten you were here. Uh, I feel like Voldemort's just gonna be barefoot for the entire- uh, for the rest of the movies. <laughs> Who live? How lies have fed your legend, Harry. Mm. Shall I reveal what really happened that night? Oh, what- what happened? I wanna know. I truly lost my powers. Bro, stop stalling, tell me. It was love. Oh. You see, when dear sweet Lily Potter gave her Oh, did Voldemort fuck his mom? She provided the ultimate protection. I could not touch him. Okay. Things have changed. I can touch you. No! Now. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh, bro, his tongue. Ew. Astonishing what a few drops of your blood will do. Yeah. Pick up your one, Potter. Oh, we about a duel? 
He's not just I gonna said pick it up. Yeah, he's he's not just gonna kill him. You've been taught how to do it, I presume. Yep, 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 yep. We bow to each other. Yep. Come on now. He wants a an honorable kill on Harry, I guess. Bah. Oh god. Yeah, this isn't honorable at all, but especially your filthy muggle mother. Don't talk. Oh yeah. Oh, he tried. No one will ever again question my power. Bro, I feel like someone's gonna come through and save him. Imagine Dumbledore pulls up and just waxes Voldemort. Or uh, Mooney, Mooney pulls, I don't know. Harry's obviously not strong enough yet. Oh shit. You look at me when I kill you. See the light, leave your eyes. God damn. Harry's not strong enough, dog. So something has to happen. Oh. oh, fuck. Oh, no, I feel it. He's mine to finish. Mm, I may feel like, oh, Harry's, I, Harry's winnings. No, Voldemort, he, no. Voldemort, ha, he's realizing Harry's way more powerful than he ever thought. He's just untrained. Oh, he's losing. I feel like Harry doesn't even know what he's doing. It's just happening. Who's this? Is that Cedric? Is it his parents or something? Harry, when the connection is broken, you must get to the port. Yes. Here for a moment to give you some time, but only a moment. Do you understand? Harry. Take my body back, will you? Uh, bro, if I... F if I fucking can, like, I have, like, maybe 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are Harry's parents. Oh, And, like, the afterlife. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bitch. Alright, yeah, he's dead, though. Cedric is dead. Bro, stop cheering. You don't know what just happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> realizing. No, no. Bro, tell Dumbledore exactly what happened. Well, what happened? He's back. Yeah. He's back. He is. Back. Cedric, he asked me to bring his body back. Oh. I couldn't. He's home. <laughs> you both are. Bro, but he's dead. Let me through! Uh, Cedric's dad. Oh, it's so tough. My son! Oh. My boy! Oh. Oh, no, no! Damn, it's, it's sad for everyone. Damn. Damn, RIP. Hmm. Can I just us? Uh, I don't know. Oh, he's gonna show him what's in here. You need to know what's in this uh, chest now. This what? Maybe I don't know. What was it like? Hmm? What was he like? Who? The Dark Lord. Yeah. What was it like to stand in his presence? Bro, do you worship him or something? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> what's happening? Oh, that's not alcohol. He drinks that. So, okay. So he doesn't turn into whatever he's turning into. Like, obviously, his hand's deforming. Oh, okay. Were there others? In the graveyard, were there others? I think I said anything about a graveyard, Professor. Yeah. Interesting. Double oath would have led you into the woods if I hadn't suggested it. Hmm. Great. I told you to open the egg underwater if I hadn't told him first myself. Yeah. I think Neville Longbottom, the witless wonder, could have provided you with Gillyweed if I hadn't given him the book that led him straight to it. Yeah! He's been directing all of it. But... It was you from the beginning. You put my name in the Goblet of Fire. Yep. <sighs> yeah, so he, yeah, so he serves Voldemort. Okay. Harry Dude, I fucking knew he was Yes! <laughs> Dumbledore! 
his ass. <laughs> yeah, get his ass. <laughs> Are you out, Sir Moody? Are you? No. Is he in this room? No. Oh, okay, it's not. It's not really like Mooney. That's bad. It's like whatever this alter ego is, you know. Oh, it's just another chest in a chest. Okay. Oh. Who the fuck? You're all right, Alistair. Oh. That's Moody, but then who's? Yeah. Then who the fuck? Holly Juice person. Now we know who's been stealing from your store servers. Uh, wow. Then who the fuck is in this chair right now? Oh, it's that one dude. That oh my god, from uh, from the prison, from the courtroom. Duh. Barty Crouch Jr. Yeah. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Mm. Lord Voldemort has returned. <laughs> Send an owl to Azkaban. I think they'll find they're missing a prisoner. Yeah. <laughs> we welcome back like a hero. Perhaps. Personally, I've never had much time for heroes. Come on, Snape. Sna Snape was a Death Eater. But... Not anymore. Well, okay, was he just a Death Eater that turned good, or was he good, then went undercover as a Death Eater as a spy, you know? Like, I I feel like that's very important to know the difference. A really terrible loss. Cedric Diggory was murdered by Lord Voldemort. <laughs> the Ministry of Magic does not wish me to tell you this. But I'm a real one, so I'm gonna tell you anyway. I think would be an insult to his memory. Yeah. And we'll celebrate a boy, brave, true, right to the very end. Damn, R.I.P. Danger this year, Harry. I'm sorry. Dude, it happens every year. It's okay. I prevail every time. It's good. <laughs> you saw your parents that night, didn't you? Yep. Soon, we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. Yep. Harry's gonna do what's right. Voldemort's, Voldemort does what's easy. That's the difference. I think we'll ever just have a quiet year at Hogwarts. No. Everything's going to change now, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We're gonna have some real adversity coming up. Oh, I thought the ship was sinking for a second, but I guess they just... It, it's supposed to do that. It goes on the water and travels, so they won't be noticed. <laughs> Alright, well that was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I don't know if I like this one better than the last one, but I still enjoyed it a lot. <sighs> R.I.P. Cedric. His death was really sad, but I feel like we didn't get enough screen time with him to really get invested in his character you know i feel like he should have been in the movie a little bit more if they're gonna kill him off like that you know or if like he was in the next movie a, like a little bit more and then they killed him off in the next movie then that would have been pretty damn sad like i i definitely felt sad for him when he died but what really got me was like his dad his dad is what like really got me and i was like that that really hit you know, I almost teared up a bit then. Like, I, my eyes were starting the water, not gonna lie. But, and like, I don't know, for like half the movie, I couldn't tell if Cedric was gonna be a bro or no. <laughs> or like, not. Like, I couldn't tell if he was about to cross us at like any given second or like what. But, uh, you know, he was a bro, he ended up being a bro the entire time, so. You know, like, he let Ter he let Harry take the cup at the end like that, but then Harry was like, nah, we're gonna take it together. I mean, honestly, thank God they kind of took it together because then Harry would have been with Voldemort by himself. I mean, it's not like Cedric really did much, you know? Like, I, it probably would have went the same exact way with or without Cedric there. But that was a pretty good twist with Mooney. Dude, I felt like Mooney was an op this entire time. Like, I don't know, just the way he was, like, spying on Harry. And, like, I, like you know, it just kind of seemed like... Like, at, at first, it seemed like he was pretty overprotective. But then I was like, no, he definitely wants something more with Harry. Like, you know, there's definitely more to it than just that. Than him just being, like, overprotective. He ended up being junior. So I was like, okay, that was a good twist. And the real Mooney was in that chest. So it's like, okay, okay. I, okay, it was really cool to actually finally, like, really see Voldemort in this. Because, like, I know we saw him in the first movie, but, like, that didn't really seem like Voldemort to me, to be honest. Like, the idea I have of Voldemort in my head is what I saw in this movie. Is Like, when I think of Voldemort, I think of him looking like this. That's cool that he got to see, like, his birth. Dude, you know what he looked like before he got dumped in the 
before he had like his birth he looked like um that grandma from uh spongebob <laughs> with like the chocolate or whatever that you know that episode that's what he looked like I mean, i guess like he needed harry to do that to take his blood so like it would remove that curse because apparently like Voldemort couldn't touch him with uh with the curse on him or whatever but now he can't but then harry you know harry's parents came through in the afterlife saved him and he got away that was that was a great scene too but yeah mooney well that guy disguised as mooney kind of set everything up in a way to get to get harry to touch the cup in the end of the tournament to get here so he was the one who put his name in the goblet of fire I'm pretty sure i said that earlier in the movie that i was like oh it's, it was probably mooney who did it you know but like obviously without all the other context behind it because mooney you know like i said he was just acting hella sus the entire time so i was like maybe he did it but it, i was right but i was like kind of wrong it was Mooney, but it was someone disguised as Mooney. So, like, I was right, but I was, like, kind of wrong. So, you know, he was directing Harry to get there. He gave everyone those hints. So he knew they would tell Harry about it and everything to get Harry to win and progress, whatever. And so, yeah. But, yeah, that was Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire. Where would I rank this? Okay. So far, out of the four movies, I would go Prisoner of Azkaban 1, Goblet of Fire 2, Chamber of Secrets, and the first one last so far. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I feel good about that. But yeah, comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. If you liked the video, like the video, and thanks for watching.